This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And if you ever built a huge, awesome, amazing build, and then you just didn't have enough stuff to put in it, you just didn't have enough stuff to deck it out just the way you wanted to, well, I got the answer for you today. Today, we're taking a look at the mod called Prop Pack. All right, so how do you get it? Well, you're going to need an engineer's table, so you're going to have to upgrade your first table. It's the first upgrade. It's going to get you this right here. It's the Prop Pack. You, uh, if you go in here and we do the old inventors table and we drop it down, you'll see that it does not exist. So you got to get that first upgrade in there and uh, then you'll have access to it. And it's going to cost you a hefty chunk of pixels, 3000 to be exact. So not too terrible, but still a little pricey. All right. Once you have it, then you can... Uh, place it down wherever you want on any wall surface and then you just activate it like you would any other thing and here you go this is it it's uh it's loaded with a ton of stuff i mean there's just all kinds of stuff way more stuff than we have time to look at you know we'll look at some of it but we don't have time to look at all of it so we'll look at a couple things let's uh let's grab this just because i'm interested to see what that is i missed that one before i want to know what it sells me uh so we got you know different blocks there's like dim glass and uh dim blinds uh you know dim versions of blocks that are already in the game uh then we have uh i'm not sure what these categories are like some of these don't even make sense to me like a koala bear and then there's like cars so i don't know anyway we'll just take a look and grab some random stuff you got a ballista we'll buy that uh you know free to get home we got some little pets let's buy that billboard sure we'll check that out and uh let's see what else do we got here let's get the jeep just because i want to see if we can get inside of it you got the robot we got some different types of luggage and they all hold stuff so you do have an option there for things that hold things. So like the, the treasure, we're going to grab that treasure because that's kind of neat. We also have like the Astro Dresser, which is like protector themed. We're going to buy that too because that looks kind of cool. We'll come over here to, well, we're going to hold this one off for later. I am going to go through this one a lot more detailed than these others. You got different types of doors and some of these doors are already in the game and maybe you can't get them normally i don't know like the eye door i thought you could get the eye door so i'm not i don't completely understand the door section uh we got some flags but the flags are slightly different so i'm gonna grab those tons of different little like plants and stuff like that which i think is really cool because the, there's not enough like living stuff to put in your in your bases and stuff like that and your cool builds well i don't feel like there is in just plain vanilla starbound so this is gonna liven it up with some well it's not alive but you know you get the idea you get what i'm trying to say then there's a bunch of like just uh protectorate stuff like capsules and and different paintings and uh let's scroll down a little more we got the TV there, lobby TV, some different lockers. Now, a lot of this stuff you can spawn in. You can spawn like some of this stuff in, but this gives you a way to get it without actually spawning it in. Just in case spawning something in feels a little cheaty to you. Uh, just more different, different things to hold stuff. We got a wall clock there. Let's do that. Sloppy clock. There's like a whole sloppy theme stuff. Sloppy chair, sloppy bed. Grab the old sloppy bed. Uh, different things that you can't normally get, like the breakable pots and stuff like that. I mean, once again, you can spawn these in, but, uh, you know, that may be cheaty to you and you may want a legit way to get it. So this is a little bit more legit way to get it. Copper rock. Uh, let's, let's get that. And uh, a little pod there. Let's get the pod. And, uh, yeah, so that should be, that should be it. So let's play some of this stuff and check it out. So we have this thing here, the vending machine, and of course it does work. So you can actually buy stuff from it, which is always fantastic. We got this thing. Can't do anything with it. It's just for looky loose. We got a, a box of pets. Oh, look, they actually, they're animated. That's cool. I like that they're animated. Uh, billboard sign. That's fancy. And we got the Jeep here. Can we get in the Jeep? Nope. Oh, listen. We can honk the horn on it. That's kind of cool. Can't get in it, but it does have a horn you can honk. Uh, that's just a normal old loot crate that's type deal there, or just a crate. Uh, we got this. That's kind of cool. I like that. I think those are neat. Those are look cool stack, too. Now, here's the... Look at this. Isn't this cool? Like, they're, they're just taller. 
They're the same as flags. You can still use them for bookmarks and all that stuff. They're just much taller, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and we got some plant plant action. You can actually get inside the plant action there. You can get down in it. And Oh, you can't duck, but, you know, you can get in it. Uh, we got that, whatever that is, that, and some more plant life. I love the plant life. I think that's a great, great touch and can really just uh, help out any old build. Look at that. That's cool. We can hide behind that one, too. Got the little flag there and the bed. Can we use the bed? Yep, we can, and we're butt naked. So that's that's a thing, too. Can we break this and get copper? Nope. Can't break it and get copper, but it's for looks, and it looks neat. Can we can we activate that? Can't activate it, can't break it, but you it, it's for looks, it, and that's cool. Uh, that's kind of cool. And Oh, that's big. That's really big, but I like it. Okay, so, you know, that's just gives you an idea of all the different things that's in this mod. Should give you enough of an idea to know whether or not you want to download it and check it out. But if you're not sure, if you're not quite set on it yet, I'm going to show you something that's definitely going to make you want to want to uh, download this mod. I'm going to show you something that's definitely going to make you want to download this mod. So we're just going to spawn in a couple of these little random things here. Let's get, uh, let's get that, and let's get... Let's get that too. Okay, so we got the pets. There's the whole pets little area thing there, uh, category, and you can just do that. And look at that. Look at that little guy. Look at him. Look at that little pet. And you can like click on him, and he does the whole pet thing. And then we got that guy there. Look at the cat. It's cat. And whatever this guy is, what's that guy? Oh, it's a crab. We got a crab. We got uh, the dog. Is everybody just going to follow me? Everybody is following me. So, you know, they'll follow you around. Got this little guy right here. Let's see if we can get him to place. There he is. Look at him. Isn't he cute? And then last but not least, this little guy. Oh, my gosh. Look at it. It's adorable. It's an adorable little thing. And you can just put these around your house and they'll just hang out. Now, if you want to know how to get them back, you can pick them up. You can see where their locations are by going to the wiring thing here. Because they have like a little wiring slot, which like, I guess, tethers them. Now, I thought it would be cool if you could link them up and turn them on or off. But as you can see here, that does not work. That once you place them, they're permanently on. However, you can go through and pick them back up. If you don't like the location in which you place them, we just got Krabby. Krabby's around here somewhere. Where are you at? There you go. So you can pick them up. So I think that's a great idea. Like, I love it because you can add some real life besides the plant life. You can add some, like, real life to your base and have them. And look, he's a bright green color now. And have them, like, going around and doing stuff and just, just some, like, movement around your base besides, you know, NPCs. And it's just cool. It's a really neat idea. So uh, I think that's about it. We'll, we'll go down here real quick and just take a, a little bit more gander of what all you can get here. Let's see. What what did we, haven't we really looked at? Let's look. We get a dragon poster. Oh, that's... <laughs> okay. You know, let me know in the comments if you know what this is from. Is it, I'm sure many of you are going to know this logo. But, you know, I just want to see. So hit me up in the comments. Let me know what this logo is from. That's kind of cool. Uh, you know, just little, all kinds of different wall posters and hanging stuff. And I'm wondering if these actually break, because the ones you spawn in, when you spawn them in, you can break them. So let's take a look here. I didn't test these yet. Let's, uh, let's go to one more level up here, and let's just place it down, see if it breaks or you pick it up. So you actually pick it back up. So that's really cool. That's, that's neat, because the ones in the game, if you were to spawn this crude pot in, you could not pick it back up. You would break it and you would have to spawn another one in. So that is really handy there. And I like the I like the luggage and stuff. The luggage looks really great. Let's spawn some of that in. And I'll show you that real quick. Look at that. That's awesome. That's that's great. Like so you can just really it's one of those mods that really allows you to just brighten up your build a lot more, add a lot more little things to it. And it's important to have these type things in in builds because so while Starbound does offer a lot, it doesn't offer everything, you know what I mean? So, all right, well that's going to wrap it up for this one before I go. I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much. You have no idea how much you help out the channel. If you would like to help support this channel through Patreon, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.